Hello again, this is Mark Perez with Restore America Club on Friday evening, May 17, 2019. I'm here on top of Little Arlington Hill. That's what I call it. Uh, part of the Washington Soldiers Home Cemetery at the just about 20 yards away from the Civil War Monument and the old flagpole to the left, the new flagpole immediately to its right and right you see that bright spot right there that's the new spotlight that's shining toward both flagpoles that's a permanently mounted uh, light that will keep those flags illuminated all hours of the night that was just installed today because it wasn't there yesterday seemingly and then they also temporarily place some uh artificial type turf or whatever you call that to make it make the make the area look presentable because what you see here that concrete base that's not the end of it after the ceremony in the upcoming weeks stonemasons will come in there and finish the job and be a beautiful beautiful base and uh permanently mount the plaque um there's a beautiful uh golden looking bronze ball up top of the new flagpole light shining on it and people are noticing from the street already because they can see the light. That light's never been there before. So people, people are going to notice when that, when this is the last night, folks, this is the last night that that little flag is going to fly because starting tomorrow morning, we're going to have a six foot by 10 foot U.S. flag and a five foot by eight foot state flag below it. And uh, basically the base of the state flag will be will be pretty much the bottom of it will be even with the top of the old flagpole which will eventually go away um so that the, the grandeur of it i mean people will notice in the streets and they'll probably stop in and check it out um also not to worry uh those of you that have concerns about this um i'll zoom in we got three clean restrooms here, I chuckle a little bit, I'm just real happy, but the one on the left is the original one that's always here. We had, uh, Soldier's Home had that service today, and the other two honey buckets were dropped in, thanks courtesy to Benjamin Ream uh, from Janus International Construction. Uh, they donated the other two. Um, so there's plenty of clean restrooms for us to use. And then the refreshments area will be at the site of the old wooden shed which will be the future site of the uh, pavilion so they'll be there there'll be plenty of refreshments so come early come early catch you a shuttle about 8 15 8 30 get on up here you know take let's take our time and uh you know we'll we'll, we'll start promptly at 10 a.m it's going to be a great ceremony i promise you it's, it's there are a lot of moving parts to it um it's, but mostly it's going to be a, a real honor, a tribute to our past veterans, especially Milton Till and his fellow veterans at the Cascade Lodge number 61. But look at that. Look how the light's shining on Old Glory. You know, the, 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 old, the old flagpole and the new flagpole, as well as the Civil War Monument. The whole thing is lit up. That is beautiful fantastic this that's the way it should have been all along so i'm glad we got this now i'm so thankful for the current staff and leadership of the washington department of veterans affairs for helping make this happen so um, god bless you all and we'll see you tomorrow morning i'll be here early and i'm here with open arms welcoming everyone here to the flagpole dedication and world war ii veteran milton seaman milton till honor ceremony God bless you. Have a good night.